Hey, Scorpio, Mars in the fourth house, really? Let's see who or what's coming in. So this is kind of an interesting combination. <laughs> Someone misses making it rain on you. Wow. Hmm. Huh. So a person is in regret. This could be a financial thing. You've got some movement in your home and family, though. Like, you are stepping out of your comfort zone as well. There's some sort of new energy there. But I feel like someone misses, like, spoiling the other person, whoever's doing that here. You also have temptations coming through. Or Scorpio. Or this person's tempted to get you something, give you some, oh wow, you look like Libra. You too, you have the hate and the spite and the, the jealousy or whatnot. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting like someone's like throwing up. I don't know, like this is nausea, okay. Someone feels sick or sick to their stomach. This could be just a feeling in hiding, feeling guilty, no communication. So you're not communicating with someone, but you want to with unknown caller stalking, hanging up and unknown numbers. There may be unknown caller energy going on or someone's accessing someone. What is the situation, please? Through the internet. Uh, Push-pull, power struggles, imbalance, and stubborn. What is this? Toxic people and red flags. Very nice. Okay, so you're going to have a pop-up visit happen. In person is what it looks like. Someone's just going to pop up into your reality here. Okay. This is the situation kind of sucks though with that imbalance of power and the red flags, of course. Oh, damn. You don't like somebody. You feel like somebody is toxic. You may not like the situation or the person. Like someone makes you uncomfortable. Are you being creepy, Scorpio? You, you could be being creepy over here with the internet or like researching something. Let's see who's in the reading. Who's this? Oh, yuck. Yeah, there is like a, a creepiness to this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we've got three of swords. Someone's coming in. They want to communicate something to you about going solo. What is this about? It's going to happen quickly. Yeah. Uh, it could be a financial situation as well. Right. Someone's saying, oh, this is how I'm going to make money. That's how I'm going to fix the situation. It's going to be fixed or healed. So this is someone who wants to talk about that. They're talking about money, unexpected money or an opportunity that's coming in. Yeah. They're like, hey, I got this opportunity. Wow. Two of cups. You want to come or, or something like that. You, it's a travel thing too for some. Or Scorpio. You look like you're in a bad mood though. Yeah, lovers. Who is this? Ten of Cups. Damn, you're hop, skip, and a jump away. You, you look like you're shooing someone out of your energy. But why, though? What's Scorpio doing here? Yeah, there's a new love. Damn, there's two people. Scorpio, you have an option. Yeah, the tower. I feel like you're not going to see it this way. It's going to come out of nowhere. This is something that you're not reconciling within yourself. Like, you don't feel like you want something or you don't know that you want something, which is weird. You're hiding something from yourself. It could be your disdain for a situation or a person. Okay, so we've got this toxic and red flags, and I feel like we should look at this right meow. What is this toxic red flags? Is your home and family? Seriously? No wonder you have this Mars here. 
there's a group of people that are toxic. They give off these red flags. You don't want to talk to them. They keep calling you or texting you. Now I see why you're upset. Someone is barging in on your comfort zone. They're coming in unannounced. Now you're just like, why are you calling me? Why are you texting me? And they're like, oh, I got you this, this gift or this money. Okay. There's an opportunity. I'm in town. Someone's coming over. What's this toxic people card? Who the hell is this? Two of Pentacles. It could be a Sagittarius. Capricorn Leo. They want to tell you they're sorry. Wow, someone's apologizing. Okay. There's a gift here. Give me one on this pop-up. Oh. Okay, yeah, someone's like, hey, I just wanted to give you this, or can you get this, and everything's fine and happy, I'm just making sure you're good, are you good, I'm good, can we be good together? And so you feel like you're being encroached upon, or someone's crowding your space somehow, maybe even energetically with that push and pull, like, you feel that, what is this, red flags? Damn, I feel like you're trying not to, like, flee, There's a Sagittarius that is a red flag. Wait a minute. It may not be a Sagittarius. It could be though, but... Scorpio, someone is seeking an intimate bond with you, a relationship with you. That's the red flag in itself. You don't, you, okay, hold on. Maybe that was a pass. Let's see. You've already moved on from something. Yeah, no, there's police here or, or lawyers or something. Or you're thinking, do I need to call someone? Right. Do I need to alert somebody? Damn. Or maybe you're remembering something that happened here with like authority and. Okay, so. Someone is crawling out of like a hole to come talk to you. You don't like this. You feel, yeah. What is this push and pull? Trying to get you to get in contact. Yeah. Oh, so you're trying to avoid a person, but they come and give you attention anyway. And you're like, why would you do that? Interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on. Who's this person? How do they see Scorp? Right. They see you as being serious, Ace of Cups. You're like, no, I, this is what I want. This is how I feel. This is what this is. How do you see the person in the reading? I'm trying to see if you're friends with this person. How do you see this Ace of Wands, because they're coming toward you. Do you like this person? How do you see this person? Eight of Cups. You feel like they left, they abandoned you, and you're over it. You left the situation. Yeah, someone was upset because you guys couldn't get past something. What is this? Eight of Cups because of the Four of Wands. Toxic people. Scorpio, Mars again, and in the sixth. Someone left. They left your relationship or they left your home. Maybe you feel abandoned. Or they're leaving home. You may not know what this person wants. You're kind of suspicious. Oh, the moon. Shoot, Scorpio, you have a choice here. It's getting a little tricky because you're like, do I tell this other person what's going on? You have, a, you have an earth sign and then you have a fire sign. Why is Scorpio Page a swordsing? Oh, 
Okay. You may have thought someone didn't care how this person in the reading feels about Scorpio. Now you're wondering if you should say something to a person because you have a choice now with that lovers. You have an opportunity to act on something you're feeling, especially if it's um, an opportunity for a relationship with someone. This person feels the death. Someone had this. Who the hell had that? Damn, I can't remember who I read. Okay, anyway. Someone feels like your relationship, it can change. It will change. It's about to change. If it hasn't already, they're talking about that. They're like, things have changed, okay? What do you want with the person they're reading? You want the high priestess, seven of wands. Damn, who is this? You want this person to back the F up. They're like, I got money for you. I miss buying you gifts. I miss giving you gifts. It looks like you're not showing up and you feel like that's fine. You're ignoring someone. You're ignoring a toxic person. It may be someone who hits you up from a number that you don't know. It could be on purpose to like get you to take the bait. Or like, hey, Scorpio, blah, blah, blah. What you doing? Or something like this. What does this person want? And you're like, who's this? And they're like, gotcha. What does this person want with Scorpio? You're like, I don't know you. Go away. So. Yeah, they're trying to come in contact with you. Someone wants to work. What is this opportunity they're talking about? Page of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. It's like, they're sorry. Why are they sorry? They're like, I, I'm sorry I miss you. Or I'm sorry I missed you. What is this pictures card? They could be sending you some photos or they're looking at them regarding you. So you're in, you're in that. Yeah, they're looking at. Wow, this looks like a group. You're like in a group. Maybe it's a family for some because we just pulled that. But it's like toxic people. OK. Um, multiple people who you don't like because you feel like they're giving off red flags or they're not respecting some sort of perhaps boundaries. You're saying, well, you didn't care before. Why do you care now? Or you're saying something like, you went along with your happy life. Why, why are you coming in all of a sudden kind of energy? Like something feels like you, you feel already that the person gave up. You already gave up. You already abandoned the situation. You abandoned perhaps you. They abandoned you. They abandoned this relationship. They abandoned something 1303, maybe a message. They abandoned the situation and they were fine about it or they were happy about it. And so you were like, cool. That's, I mean, it is what it is, right? That's just this solid. You can see that you see it for what it is. It's not about the emotions. It's like the facts. So facts and not feelings type energy. It's like, no, actually let's, Look at the facts. So I feel like you're going to be looking at that. You're you're not responding to a person. It looks like someone's about to try to bait you. Okay. They're about to bait you. Tell you they miss you. How much they miss you. They love you. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever this is. I don't know. It's like Sagittarius energy. Can you tell me who the hell this person is that's being a D-bag? They could be sending you. You know how like certain... Um, apps or phones or something will show you photos of this time last year or this time this particular year this person's gonna see that and they're gonna send it to you remember this remember this 1414 14. who's this person how can i tell scorpio who the hell this person is a oh wow it's a mother figure it's an empress damn yep it's a matriarch. It's, yeah, whoever. Right. The Queen of Swords. Someone who has a bad mouth or they talk crap a lot. They want attention. There may be like a little bit of a guilt trip going on here. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. This may be a Sagittarius for some of you or someone has like Sun, Moon, Rising. So Sagittarius, Neptune, and the Eighth. Um... 
we've got Leo Libra as well. There's something deceptive here. Someone's lying about something. What is the deception? Yeah, that it's lying. It's speaking. It's like talking about something. What is that? The fool. Oh, so it's about the apology. So you don't trust the apology from this person because you're saying that they say things, but their actions don't match. So this would be like someone who has said things but they do something else or they have done something else. It's lies. And they may be trying to get you to forgive, but that's also a lie to you. So whatever that means, Scorpio, like maybe you just don't want to forgive or you know better, whatever it is. Okay. What is this red flags again? What type of red flag are we talking? Damn. Damn. Who did this, Scorpio? It's like taking a walk down memory lane in the worst type of way or like bad memories are coming up. Someone could be trying to, again, there's like a guilt trip energy here underlying it. So I don't know. Maybe it's like, oh, I, I don't know. You know, I'm, I feel this way or some sort of manipulation. I don't know. Yeah. Why is this red flag? Right. Because something is a red flag because it's re reminding you that you have to tread carefully with a person. Yeah. Be lest you want to have a tower, apparently. Why is Scorpio treading carefully with red flags? They may also feel this way about you, though, Scorpio. They may feel like, I don't know what I'm going to be met with right? Because they're the ones who are trying to talk to you here. Where's this person right here? Yeah, they, they think that they're offering you something sweet. So but you may not think that oh, we're Scorpio. You may not think that yeah, no, see, you're like, I'm leaving in a hurry. Absolutely not. No, you're you're thinking about this, though. You're like, should I should I respond? And wow, you may try to decide that. In in the reading, it's talking about you not wanting to respond because you're considering maybe you want to you want to bark back or you want to say something to someone, but you're trying to avoid a confrontation as well. It could be that someone is saying something that's like a trigger and possibly on purpose for some of you. And it could be disguised as like sweet. Damn, who's toxic people again? Toxic people, like exactly. <laughs> Capricorn energy. What's this toxic people? Okay, because somebody um, did not want to do their part in a relationship in the past. I mean, we we know that seven of wands. Yeah, you may have told them that you were over it or you were done with that seven of wands. It's already happened though. It's like this is not fair. Um, there's abuse of a relationship or a person. Someone is being very controlling or being very demanding. This could be like a demanding person or someone who expects or there's obligations type energy. And you feel that something is not fair or healthy and it pisses you off. Someone pisses you off. All right. You're like, I already told you. All right, don't try me. Don't, don't do it. What's going to happen next? Scorpio and this person. Yeah, here we go. I see you going over things within yourself. You're like, should I say it? Should I say it? Because I feel like you have, you're frustrated and you want to like say something. Yeah, you may choose not to. Okay. You're going back and forth about it. Where's Scorpio and the vibe? Ten of Pentacles. All right, two of swords. You're like, no, I don't want to go. Uh, yeah. So you're, you're not going to go to a party, Scorpio, or you're not going to go to a gathering and get together. Pisces energy, Capricorn energy. Mm. 
you're not gonna go, where's the person right here? Six of Pentacles, right, I got you something. I know you don't care type energy. They may try to drop something off, but you may find that that's intrusive. Someone's being a little intrusive. Why does Scorpio not want to go here besides what we've said? Okay, this looks, I mean, talks to people, red flags, this kind of obvious, but because the eight of swords, yeah, because you feel that you can't forget something. Like you're still on an idea or a memory. Like you're still on that. It's still fresh or it's still repeating. It's still something that you're not seeing past with that eight of swords. You can't see because you're blindfolded. It's like, I can't see past this. So take it or leave it. And you're saying I'm leaving it. What's Scorpio upset about besides what we said? Someone's really manipulative actually. So the star, yeah, see, and so it's like they say, I love you, or they say things to kind of get at you why they know what bothers you that's what's the worst part here this person knows maybe people or you like whatever it is this person yeah you're upset because you're not seeing the potential here you're feeling more so like it's worse for you or it's deceptive to you this is like offensive you're offended you're like back up back all the way up They're, I'm sorry. Yeah. They're sorry. They miss you. The five of wands. What is the seven of swords? Something is disguised. Yeah, they want to give you something. That's what I'm telling you. There's something that they're trying to give you. Oh, man. They want to give you something so that they can restore a relationship with you. They're like, sorry, I forgot. Sorry, it passed my mind. Or I miss you. I forgot something. I have something to give you. Remember when it's so sweet, blah, blah. Like someone wants to treat you. Here's that make it rain. Like someone wants to give you gifts, money, that type of stuff. Like I have, yeah, whatever it is. Power coming in, Ace of Wands coming in, and the star. Who's saying this? This is like breaking news. They could send you like a video. There's a video here. I'm seeing a video or a recording. It could even be like a, a home recording, like a, a, how do you say? A recording of, um, surveillance of the home. I was like, Hey, remember this? I saw this on my camera. I don't know, man. This could also be that they're with a group and the whole group is saying something to you. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's supposed to be received as like sweet. Again, I don't think you're receiving it as sweet. Someone's like, I have, I have something to tell you, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, okay. It's a video of like a whole group of people. This could even be singing a group of people singing or they're each like saying something to you. It's a video. I see a video, not pictures. It's like everybody's talking. It's verbal. Um, okay. So maybe it's voicemail, but it looks like a video to me. Like a whole bunch of people saying stuff to you. <laughs> it could be at once. They're calling you from a number you don't recognize, leaving you voicemails, sending you videos, talking about like, hey, Scorpio, it's me. And then someone else, it's me, Scorpio, miss you. Everybody misses you. Yeah, we're all here kind of vibe. And you're just like, what the F? Like, get like all these people, like seven wands or six wands against you type thing. Back up. All right. That's what it looks like. What's Scorpio's intentions with the person in the reading though? Toxic people. Interesting. Your intentions is a tower. Ace of wands. Damn. What are you doing? You're going through with something. What is Scorpio doing with the ace of wands? 
Oh crap. The star. <gasps> Scorpio. You're not showing that you're surprised. You're treading carefully. What is this though? What is Scorpio? Is Scorpio feeling some type of way? What is this? Right. That's what I'm feeling. So it's like you, you, well, you're going through the motions. It kind of feels like there's a lot on your mind. Nine of wands. That's what I'm saying. You're like, how do I release this? How do I release? Exactly. Six of cups. Something's going on emotionally with you. You're kind of like surprised at what's coming up or what you're feeling. You're surprised by yourself. Maybe this is something you swore up and down. You hated, you didn't want, you didn't want nothing about it. Whatever it is, this ace of wands that's coming in, some kind of new passion is coming through. Damn. I feel like you're rewriting something. Okay. Okay, that does not mean go back to a red flag situation or a toxic situation. That's not what I'm telling you. Okay, just just to be clear. But I am seeing something that you're like kind of trying to formulate what to do and what to say. Damn, so I don't understand which way you're headed now. And maybe you don't either because you're very protective of this. Scorpio's truest intentions with the person in the reading, please. Something is tempting you, Scorp. Now, all of a sudden, yes. Right. Look at this. It's like, okay, maybe I should talk to this person. There you go. Maybe I should respond. Maybe I should tell someone how I feel. What? Five of Cups. Here's the deal. I feel like you're going to, uh, I don't know if this is exactly the same person. Sometimes readings will pull on several energies, right? Just let me just tell you this. There's something that you swore off or you swore up and down. You didn't want, it could be a person now that you're hearing from someone, they're sending you something is kind of triggering you. And you're like, maybe in other news, there is something, if it's the same situation, fine. The ace of wands was coming in. Okay. That you're like, maybe I should confess how I feel. Maybe I should confess my feelings for someone that you're in love with a person that you've been holding this for a long time, that you care for someone that you would love to see them, that you would love to be in a relationship with someone. Who is this? There's someone who's going to apologize or tell you they miss you. And this is your chance to like shoot your shot type thing. Wow. Who is this? Someone who has abandoned you has left. Damn, Scorpio, it's coming back. It's returning. Your, your energy is returning with this person. There's a revival. If this is Emperor Empress energy, who's Scorpio going toward here? You're, you're running directly into the wheel and being spat out in the opposite direction that you thought you were going is what I want to tell you. So four of cups, damn, I feel like you're saying you're not sure if you should communicate this to a person because it's like you're, you're afraid that you damn. So maybe there's two people, Scorpio, doesn't the energy feel different, but it's this, it's indicating the same person to me. So it's like the energy completely shifted with you and a person. What type of a relationship is this? You want... Okay, you're surprised. Yeah, you're surprised by yourself about the whole situation. This could be an old friend, intimate relationship, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Cancer. You're looking toward the situation, right? You see a win here. Wow, Pisces energy, the Ten of Cups. Someone's your happy ending type energy. There's no such thing in my mind, right? Because happiness is fleeting. But you see what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say. It's a figure of speech. <laughs> All right. With Scorpio and this person in the reading, what's going to happen here? Damn. Scorpio. What the hell are you doing? Who does Scorpio not like then? Let's, let's see. 
you don't like another person that you're not okay you're not talking to the person that you want to be talking to so you're entertaining like somebody else that you don't feel some type of way with you're not talking to the person that you want to talk to and you're entertaining some other like maybe flings or random relationships with people maybe you're in like a party life kind of environment maybe you want to go back home so to speak okay something is off you're not living in your true energy you haven't been but i feel like it's just hidden with that moon You want to you want to see if there's a future with you somewhere to somebody that you're not talking to. Who's this with the moon? This could be a Leo. Yeah. Wow, there's a Leo popping up, Scorp. You feel very directed and guided to tap into an energy. Something is about potential for you in the coming period. You're going to see potential somewhere that you didn't. All right. I also feel like there are people coming in that you also are not wanting. You're like, what am I doing? What am I doing here? All right. So interesting reading today. What's next for Scorpio in general? 31, 33, there goes that wand again. So I feel like, yeah, you're, wow, you're directing your energy differently. You're changing, you're different. Like I said, there's a death card. You can't go back now. Now, the attention that you were giving in the past to a situation or a belief even, it's um, it's been agitating you. So you're ready to kind of like open up. I'm hearing the floodgates, but you're opening up this new portal, this new opportunity with that nine of wands. What type of energy is this, Scorpio? You, the things that you thought were making you happy do not anymore. This may have been like flashy, superficial. It's not for you. It's not real. Something is not real. It's not like raw or it's not, um, not that you can't do that. It's just, you want some sort of like depth is what it seems here. It's like, sure. I could go out there and be flashy and get people to like congratulate me and all that, but that's nothing to me now. Maybe you thought this was like your life and it's not anymore. It's a crowd. It could be a crowd that you're changing. What is this death? There you go. You're surprised by this. That's what I'm saying. The 10 of wands. Yeah. It's like, holy cow. When you move into this ace of wands, you have to overcome yourself first. But when you move into this new passion that's made, it's like lighting your life up, it's making you so excited, you're opening up so many new energies after the fact. And you're not seeing that just yet. But I feel like follow your passion. Scorpio, this is one of those like follow your heart vibes because there's some sort of new inspiration that's coming through that's going to bring you, I want to say like the high life or something that is supposed to magnify you as a person, like to yourself, not to other people. Maybe in the past it was what you thought like you thought oh okay it's about other people or it's about the way I look it's the way I I drive the way I drive <laughs> the way you move through life maybe it's different now your um values are different and so you didn't see this before that's why the reason you didn't see this before is because your values it was your perspective on it you can't see something that you are not perceiving you can't. That's why do you think there's so much work people do on like law of attraction kind of stuff? Because it primes your brain to see opportunities in front of you that you may not have seen. Okay. So something is changing about the way you're looking at yourself and what you thought was important. And I would say, go after what's this new energy that Scorpio is going after. You have to overcome yourself because you could, yeah, you're going, this could be like, damn, that is wild. Okay. You're not going to be able to shake this. You're not. There's no choice now. This inspirational new path that you are going to like bump into, you're just like, whoa, where'd this come from? How do I feel? Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel like I need to act on this now? This impulse, this feeling, I'm so inspired you're going to get bit by the bug and you're not going to be able to let this go. And 
it has huge potential for growth. So the star comes in talking about healing something. And here you're going to rip your chains in that way. But there's going to be an intensity in the potent energy coming your way. Like it's huge kind of vibe. It's potency. And you could be... I'm hearing gaining more experience, but I'm seeing you could be more seen now because in the past you thought you were being authentic, but you were not. Now that you're going to be authentic and feel so intensely about that, you will get what you've been seeking, which it appears to be a higher expression of yourself. Because the star comes in after a tower, so it's like, it's like, whoa, where'd that come from? I see things differently now. What I thought is not true. And so you go after some healing, but it's also representing like something that is within your grasp. So go get it. But I'm seeing with the devil, you can't avoid it anyway. So I feel like it's, you know, it's coming. What else is here? Two of wands. Yeah, there you go. The knight of wands. Oh, wow. And I'm seeing this here too. You can either choose the devil in your past, keep doing what you're doing. You know, the devil is attached to material or you can go after your highest expression at this time that's open to you. So I see you turning your back on something that's got a grasp on you. Also, you may be um, ending some sort of something that you thought you would never let go of too. You'd be ending like an addiction for some but it happens kind of like quickly, broadly. It takes over you. What else for Scorpio? Huge passion, Scorp. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, do it. Five of swords. Exactly. There's a fast and swift change. And you have to be confident in order to do this. What the hell is this, Scorpio? I don't even know. For you, it's going to represent the high life. And that's different for everybody. Three of Pentacles, lovers. Wow, it could be a partner for some. Some of you, this is with a partner. Okay. Where you were fearful in the past. Two of Cups, yep. Damn, Scorpio, who the hell? You're like, screw this, I have to. I have to claim this. Oh my God. This person is kind of not expecting this or you're not. I feel like you're not expecting it. And then if you're the person who's going toward this individual, she's like, I just have to tell them. Yeah. They're not expecting what you're about to say or do. They're not expecting this advice. Neither are you though. Advice. So this reading took a strange turn, huh? Maybe for the better. So things are changing for the better, Scorpio. Maybe in the past you were dealing with a bunch of like um, nefarious energy. You know, maybe you were like watching someone too. Someone, you could be waiting for a, an energy to clear. It could be on your side or on this person's. Perhaps a person was with somebody, for example. Okay, but this is like spying energy and like the stalking, the hanging up, the blah, 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 all that kind of nonsense. Don't let your past hold you back. Yeah. Luck is on your side. Good for you. Advice for Scorpio. Don't let pride get in your way. Advice for Scorpio. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, new moon in Sag, full moon in Leo, full moon in Capricorn. Maybe you felt bound by, it looks like the six of wands and the devil card. Yeah. Something that was super stable, serious. You were serious about this before. You're releasing yourself. Is actually, maybe you thought it was expansive or what you wanted, but it was so superficial. It's not what you thought or you didn't get the results as you expected. You're not living in your true self. And so now you're moving into Sagittarius energy here where you're like, I can do this. I can feel a way about this. And there's more optimism in your future because of the way that you're seeing something. Advice for Scorpio. 
Maybe you just feel out of place, Scorpio, with people, red flag people, situations, families, environments, the Ten of Cup energy. The saying of spoken words, every word I say becomes a prayer. I'm the author of my own story. Exactly. Make sure that what you say is true and authentic and raw. Because I feel like you're doing that anyway. But it looks like it's going to create your story once you step into that. It's like, no, this is who I am, okay? Screw you. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. Exactly. Like I said, you are attached to something that is ego based. You could have sworn up and down. It was like that. It's like, no, of course I don't feel that way. Or of course, this is what I want. He, he, don't you see me smiling? No. All right. Some type of ego attachment. It's like an egoic energy. Well, anyway, ego is necessary to function, but it's the way that you were attached to something was not for you. Let's just say, yeah, it's just the second time I'm seeing this. I'll give it to you. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. Yeah. You're like, so if I already know something and I understand something, I have to also be that person. I have to also claim myself. Why am I hiding? Why are you hiding? The queen of saintly women. I'm in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. Thank you, Scorpio. See you next time.